What this is is a uniform methodology for the visualization of mathematics. A uniform methodology for the visualization of mathematics. Let's visualize. Now, would it be worth it to you if your children at six and seven understood the concepts of algebra and calculus? If they understood how to multiply? What price would you put on that? We're going to build a rectangle in algebra. I'm going to build it out of an x squared, 3x, and 2. I have a rectangle here, x squared, 3x, and 2. And further, I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to tell you that one side is x plus 2. Can we make a rectangle out of this? Now, this is a polynomial. What does poly mean? Yeah. Nomial. Numbers. Numbers. I'm going to build a rectangle. And can you see that now I have a rectangle? And for little children, this is just like a puzzle. Nothing hard about it. Nothing scary. The whole thing is x squared, 3x, and 2. And this side is x plus 2. Do you see that there's x plus 2? What's that side? x plus 1. Could you see it? Could any little child see that? We couldn't call that 2, could we? Because it's x plus 2. We wouldn't call that 2x plus 2 because just like with the 18, we didn't count the inside. We just counted the edges, just the outside. Can you see that if one side is x plus 2 and the whole thing is x squared 3x and 2, the other side has to be x plus 1? Could any small child see that? Now, what's the highest number we counted to here? 3. He never got off his hand again. Can any small child see that? Do they have to be in 7th or 8th grade before they get introduced to these concepts? Now, once again, all we did tonight was count. We studied a little mathematics. We formed rectangles to facilitate that counting. We never counted past nine. And we never even touched on the subjects of zero or one. 